Hi everyone. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is go through my creation of the seal for my my judges chambers submission. Uh, the seal was used on the Polaroid artwork that I submitted, um, and I just kind of wanted to walk through a my thinking behind it, but also kind of go through uh, my thought process and the inspiration. So let's get into it. So first, I kind of toyed with the idea of using the seal with certified Yankee fan. Um, and the reason I wanted to do that was because uh, I think the lyrics that I wrote kind of explain why um, or what inspired me to enter the contest. And the seal kind of seemed to embody um, being awarded something. Uh, and I also wanted to put that information that says certified Yankee fan uh, just to kind of show uh, that my grandma, who is, I think, one of the biggest Yankees fans of all time, uh, and that she hasn't been to a game and kind of use that as like a stamp of approval or um, just kind of stay in that theme. Um, so initially I tried to do this one, but I kept getting frustrated with like kind of making the stars line up properly. So I said, let's just like kind of start from square one. Um, so I'll walk through how I created that seal. So what I did was first... Um, kind of looked at some inspiration of just seals that are on awards that are usually given. Um, and then ultimately I kind of thought back to what I had learned and how um, each of the points on the seal could be resembling to a star. Uh, and I know there's a tool in Illustrator that helps to create a star. So what I did was you go on the top left, um, click on the tools, hold down and go to star. Um, and if you want to make just a regular star, what people do is just click and drag. So I'll make the star. Um, what I did is just click down and then entered how many points I wanted. I was like, let's just try the craziest number I could think of. And 50 was the first one that popped into mind. I should have done like 99. That would have been cool. Let's do that for this one. Aaron Judge reference. Uh, and then since it kind of looks like a star right now, uh, the way to make it look more like a seal I, I knew was to use the white mouse um, and that kind of helps you to drag the points I'm gonna click click the points oh no it's not the point so what you're gonna click is this like weird looking round thing right here you drag it what it's not working All right, so I found the reason why that wasn't working. You can't have that many points, so 50 was a good number. <laughs> um, so what you do is just click and drag. And that that's what kind of gives it that rigid edging look. And I knew I didn't want the color to be flat, like a flat yellow, because I didn't think that really resembled a seal. So just from what I had studied before, I knew I was going to have to use a gradient. Um, so the gradient I used was this one. And what I did was pick a few colors that were in the range of gold. Um, so I picked a really like kind of darker orange, a bright yellow, and then one that was kind of in the middle. And then just adjusted the slider uh, based on that. After that, I won't go through how I kind of wrote this out, but basically you draw a circle or draw a path. And then what I did was just type, use the type tool, uh, the type on a path tool. And then I typed the, my judges chambers around there um, and then resized it just to make sure it was right. Uh, and just to make sure that it looked clean too. And then I knew I wanted to use the Yankee logo also. So what I did was trace the Yankee logo in Illustrator. And also I wanted to use the navy as well, like the navy color for the Yankees. Um, and then like input that on the seal. So I did both of those. And then 
last but not least, uh, I mean, I actually did this first because I, I was trying to figure out what way I could use the gavel um, to stay in the theme of Aaron Judge and the theme of the competition. Uh, so I had the gavel created, but uh, my brother, who was kind of giving me feedback while I was creating it, basically said that in order to make it look more like a gavel, I should include the kind of gold shimmers that are on the top where the gavel is, uh, that when it hits the judge's bench, uh, and then towards the bottom as well. Um, and then I did the same thing, used the tool to create a rounded rectangle, and then just applied the, the gradient, yeah, and then just do it there. So, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you're interested in graphic design, I can kind of walk through a few more um, pieces that I've created, but just wanted to go through uh, all the thought processes that I use in creating my submission um, and just try to be as creative as possible. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.